Searching over the clouds and around the world, here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends, Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I am Jake. And today our guests are a Siberian tiger and a reindeer. And, uh... Stinky, what what is that? Oh, oh, this is my list of everything that I want from Santa, organized by size, color, and dealer options. I'm gonna give it to the reindeer so he can give it to Santa. That way we cut out the middle elf. Oh, Stinky, you are unbelievable. <laughs> Thanks, Jake, I tried. Oh. <laughs> and now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, let's take a look at what reindeer eat. Now, I got a better idea. Let's order pizza and eat it ourselves. Oh, I'm strong. What? Reindeer like this one eat only lichen. Yeah, what can? Lichen, oh. a plant that grows on Arctic land. Mm -hmm. It's sometimes called reindeer moss. In winter, reindeer have to dig through the snow with their hooves to get to their food. Hey, what do you know? They eat frozen dinners. Eh, personally, I'd rather eat pizza. Reindeer eating? Like him. Another tasty animal tidbit that'll make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! Hey, you know you're right, Jake. I should only ask for one present. One perfect present that I really, 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 really gotta have! Yeah. Mm, I wonder what it should be. Well, while you think about it, let's bring out our first guest. Here she is from the frozen Siberian tundra... Tundra! Sasha, the Siberian tiger. He's fabulous to be here, no? Yes, it's gorgeous place you have here. Yes, it's gorgeous place. Oh, well, Sasha, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. <laughs> oh, it's a pleasure to be here. So, what you want to know? I want to know if you know Santa Claus. <laughs> No, Stinky. We have never met, but I do like Winter almost as much as he does. Oh. Let me show you. Oh, oh, tape? Oh, boy. Jake, Jake. Where I come from, it's Winter most all the time. That's just the way I like it. You will <laughs> love where we live. Where is that exactly? In eastern Russia and northern China, in a place called the Emir Valley. Oh, well, that explains why you're sometimes called a Muir Tiger. That's right, because there are many other kinds of tigers in other parts of the world. Eight different subspecies, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, the Bengal, the Caspian, Chinese, Indo-Chinese, the Java and the Bali both extinct. Oh, oh, and don't forget the Sumatran. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, those are marvelous cats. But we Siberian tigers are the largest of them all. We weigh as much as 500 pounds and stand more than three feet tall. Wow! Siberian tigers also have longer, bulkier fur than those other tigers. We need it to keep us warm, even when we are sitting in the snow, like my friend Kuken here. Also, the color of our fur is not as bright as other tigers' fur. Well, is that so you blend in better with the snow? Precisely. Hmm. You know, Sasha, I'm trying to come up with the one perfect present to ask from Santa. What would you ask for? Survival. Survival? Does that mean Siberian tigers are endangered? Oh, yeah. We are very rare. In fact, there may be only a handful of Siberian tigers still alive in the vial. Well, are you hunted for your fur? Somewhat, yeah. But we are also in danger because there is not enough food for us to eat. Hey, you birds! Get away from that food! What are you trying to do? Starve these poor Siberian tigers? Go on, pick on somebody your own size. Go get them, cool. It's all right, Stinky. Those jays really don't eat very much. They were only trying to get food for themselves. You see, the problem we have is that Siberian tigers must eat so much to survive. More than I eat? I think so, yeah. In a single night, a female tiger can eat as much as 40 pounds of meat, and a male tiger can eat as much as 100 pounds of meat. Whoa, that's a lot of meat. Yeah, do you have to hunt every day? Usually just once a week. And then we leave the food in the snow and come back to it when we are hungry. And sometimes, when we are away from our food, voles, foxes, and even little birds like those jays will come and eat what we have left behind. Well, what kind of animals do you hunt? Wild boys are favorite, but we also hunt birds, deers, and even black bear. Not polar bear. Not polar bear. Good. How about skunk? Oh, never skunk. Very good. Ooh, nice tail. I beg your pardon? Oh, in the picture. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, well, 
Gee, Sasha, Siberian tigers are such large animals, it must be tough to sneak up on your prey. Oh yeah, it's true. That is why we almost always hunt at night. Whoa, that tiger looks like it has headlights. Her eyes are merely reflecting what little light there is in the darkness. A house cat's eyes do the same thing. Uh, well, you know, it looks like this tiger has already caught her prey. And she is now eating her fill, so she will have strength for the long winter days. Or perhaps she will save some food for her young. Well, do young tigers ever hunt for themselves? No, a tiger cub is not ready to hunt until it's about two years old. <laughs> until then, it must depend on its mother for food. For the first few months, a cub's nourishment comes from mother's milk. And then, when the cub is about four months old, the mother will take them along on their hunting trips. And they learn to hunt for themselves by watching their mothers, right? Yeah, it's not an easy life. <laughs> well, thank you for coming to visit us, Sasha. You're welcome. And Jake, to you I say, das Vindunia. Oh. <laughs> what does das Vindunia mean? No, 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 das Vindunia. It means goodbye, and when I go like this, it means it's time for <gasps> baby talk. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, oh, thanks, Vi. That feels great. Yeah, right, right under the uh, the chin there. Yeah. Well, that's enough of that. Oh. <clears throat> now that I've got that old slurp rhythm going, yeah. I think I'll slurp up some lichen. Oh. Well, well, what about me? Do I do I slurp up uh, like a no. Huh? As a matter of fact, you slurp my milk. Oh, yum. Uh, where, where do I go here? Uh, it's right here. Oh, that thing? Straight ahead there. Mm -hmm. Right, um, uh, 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 uh no, no offense, Bob, but it's hard to drink milk and be licked at the same time, you know. Uh, I think I'll go find myself some lichen. Let's see, what are lichen anyway? Oh, 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 hey, hey, let go of me, would you? Hey, looking for lichen's dangerous. I'm going now, dear. Are you coming? Okay, Ma. Yeah, hey, wait for me. I'm coming. Hey, look, uh, I can run already. Look at this. And now let's take a look at some animals who live in the snow. Animals like the Siberian tiger and the reindeer. And me. <laughs> Getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if this animal knows the answer. Here, boy. Tell me, Rover. Uh, uh, Pavlov. The name's Pavlov. Of course, Pavlov. Can you tell me which of the following animals is the closest relation to the reindeer? Is it the caribou, the bighorn sheep, the deer, or the springbok? Well, I don't know the answer to that question, but but I did fetch your slippers. <laughs> Ew, those are not my slippers. Huh? They're mine. Yeah. What, are you, what, are you, what do you think you're doing with these? Sorry. And now the answer. It's the caribou. The caribou is the animal most closely related to the reindeer. In fact, caribou and reindeer are practically the same animal. What they are called depends on where they live. Caribou like these roam wild in North America and Siberia. Here we see a herd of caribou in the snow. An interesting fact about a caribou is that they have furry muzzles. This keeps their noses warm in very cold weather. Cute. These male caribou are using their antlers to see who is going to get the female. 
The mating season, or rut, takes place from late October to early November. As you can see, it's a close contest here, but... Yes! That gorgeous caribou male with the giant antlers wins! And this is Wonder Rat reporting on the caribou. Now back to you, Stinky and Jake.